Okay, little disclaimer before we start, uh, David and I uh, swim every day together. We're in a, like a little mm. COVID bubble, so we don't have our masks on together because yeah. we see each other every single day. We shower each other we off. We shower each other off down yep. the beach. We do. And um, so that's why we're not wearing masks. We're COVID compliant. We are. Uh, I've washed my hands and everything else. How are you, David? I've washed my hands and everything else. Good. Good scrub this morning. Good. So you all know. No Just one gives a fuck about this. <laughs> Carlos has never washed himself. No. <laughs> he always. But he, I do wear a mask. Though. <laughs> he's wearing a mask. <laughs> he, he's he's like he's like um, Eddie Murphy in Coming to America. He just sits in a sits in sits in the bath, and then someone just comes up and says, "The Carlos penis is clean." <laughs> 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 the royal penis yeah, is clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'd like to take a bit of length out of the beard. It's got a bit unruly with not being trimmed for a while. Yeah. So probably a little bit longer than yours, but like a nice round kind of fisherman type beard. Yeah. And the moustache, as always, will leave quite a bit of length, but take the width out of it and just a yeah. nice full. Yeah, like I think Thompson I think, and Thompson app um, Tintin. So let us let us put a little tiny bit of oil in before we start, just to soften it all up a little bit. So I'm going to put just do you use temple smoke. I think so. I think I've seen it. Yeah. 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 So I have uh, washed and oiled as well this morning. Have you? Yeah. I actually shampooed the beard properly. Nice. A little treat for me. So it feels nice. I like it when you wear latex gloves when you're touching me. <laughs> <laughs> Normally I charge extra for the for the latex. When we go swimming in the morning um, in the sea, uh, I sometimes wear these to, to dry David off with. So <laughs> we try and wear matching speedos as well. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take off. Yeah, I'm going to take off about. We're going to take off about that much off the bottom. Okay. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. <coughs> drop, drop quite a bit. We might. We could even potentially go a bit shorter if you want. Okay. So we do it gradual, and then I'll yeah. start off one length, and then we'll see yeah. how you feel. That sounds good. It's going to make it look a bit different. Do that thing again with yeah. your hand. So just in front of the leg. So if I do it about that much, yes. yeah, about the same size as Carlos's um, fingers. Yeah. <laughs> that was about right. <laughs> 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 yeah. His dick is massive. <laughs> His fingers are really small. <laughs> so I'm coming in. I'm not going in, up, up and in. I'm coming in and then down because I want to keep some of that depth underneath the beard. So you notice I'm going down, downwards. So I'm keeping that underneath beard for now. Just so I can see how much density is in it. You are my density. <laughs> reference from a really great film. Do you know what that reference is, Carlos? No, no, if I want to know. I'm not sure with you. It's a classic. It's a classic film. It's got Michael J. Fox in it. Well, like Back to the Future. Back to the Future, that's what it is. You know. I haven't seen those films since I was a kid. I watched I've them. Never rewatched them. I watch them every year around I have Christmas never time. Never rewatched them. I've tried to try to convince my fourteen-year-old son that they're really great films, and he's not. He's not convinced. I start. <laughs> watch, that's the thing. I start watching, and I was like, uh, it's not the same. So I turned <laughs> off. Matilda loves them. She thinks they're great. I'm not a fan of the third one. No, the third even, one. Even though it has got obviously the Reverend Billy Gibbons in it, but yeah, I'm not a fan. The first one is awesome. Yeah. It's a shame they changed some of the actors in the second one. Well, they changed, they changed the, his girlfriend straight away, didn't they? Yeah. So it's like, although his girlfriend in the second one is the girl from Karate Kid. Elizabeth film, Shue. And she is hot. Yeah. She's still hot now. She's, she, apparently she's going to be in the next season of Cobra Kai. Is she? Yeah. Which I'm very much looking forward to. Yeah, my wife didn't like Cobra Kai. She said it was ridiculous. Sam and I loved it. This, it, this it, is someone who yeah. watches Walking Dead, by the way. Yeah. It took Matilda a while to get into Cobra Kai, but we kind of caught her sneakily watching it. Yeah, I watched it. What, Cobra Kai, yeah. yeah. It's like, it's not amazing, but it's okay. It's watchable. 
My favourite, I think my favourite the, the last two couple of years has been Ozark. Yes, definitely. Jason Bateman was being interviewed on something the other day I saw on YouTube and they're currently filming the next season, but this is the last one. He's not making any more. I've not seen it. Ozark is awesome, man. Okay, so we're sort of just creating the shape now. There's, there's bits underneath that we need to tidy, but I want to show David the length just so we can see where we're, where we're at because I mean, it's, long. it's still long. It is still long. Yeah, we could take more length out. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Just coming in, gradual, take your time. So many times I've had people coming in and saying, oh, I've had my beard trimmed somewhere. I said to them, take a reasonable amount off and they've walked out with like a number two all over their face, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and the, bar, the barber's not, not taken his time to just gradually, step by step, work, work his way through some different lengths. I think, I think it's one of those things, I mean, I, I don't touch it. You know, I won't, I won't trim my own beard, and nobody else has touched it for quite a few years now. You said you're the only person that has, has touched my hair and my beard. Well, apart from my wife, obviously, yeah. she touches my hand a bit. That's different. And she's washing you. Yeah. Well, you wash them. No, uh, I wash them in the sea. Yeah. Different. We're, we're like semen. <laughs> we're just two semen wandering around on the beach together. Yeah. So what, what do you think about taking... That's enough. I think that's enough, really. I don't think we need to take much more than that. Unless David's really keen to go a bit shorter than that. I think that's quite a good length on him. Yeah, no, that's a good length. Yep. I, I mean, if, if you want, we can go a little bit shorter, but... No. no. It's made it look a bit fuller, hasn't it? And yeah. a bit sort of thicker and I did actually heavier. see a photo of myself from last year Just when right up. I was... Santa, and it was it was about this length then. It's definitely filled it out more. It's definitely yeah. made it look a little bit more of a solid shape. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep with let's keep with that length, and then let's work out what we want to do with the. Eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> Very low eyebrows. <laughs> They're really low eyebrows you've got just above your, just, just above your lip and below your nose. Yeah. Yeah, they have mash everything, don't they? Mm. They, mash, they mash all the veg as well, don't they? Like Swede and stuff mm. like that. And well. and they like, they, but in the States, they seem to prefer sweet potato than they do white potato, I think. It, with it, because they, I suppose it's easier to mash, isn't it? Am I right in saying that, do you think? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Um, I've never had a roast in America. I've not had a roast, mm. no. Yeah. Never even seen one. <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm going to come up, up with the scissors and just, just taking off a few little... A few little ends. And now, with David's moustache, he's... We're keeping... So I've taken some of this off here mm. And I've just reshaped it so it sits nicely across the front of the of the beard. <clears throat> but underneath, I want to be able to pull that back. And this is the bit that's going to cause him the issue when it comes to eating. So the underneath of the moustache is just finding itself a little bit cleaner, <coughs> a little bit clearer. I'll say it again while Carlos isn't coughing, and clearing his throat. Goodness me, I'm trying to work here. Can't work things. in these conditions. We do the little tiny little, little tiniest V shape just in there, just to keep it nice and clear for David. To be honest, the Tomar the beard look like with a shadow beard mm. and a soft coat, goatee with a big moustache. Mm. Probably suit you as well, maybe for the future. So I had, I had a goatee kind of in the 90s. I love the way, you say, I love the way you say that, don't yeah. you? Well, no, I had, had a goatee. Yeah, a goatee. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was, it was kind of that, that the, when the grunge thing first started. So that was, yeah, it was, it was long hair and goatee back in those days. And, 
but I kind of I don't like the goatee look as much anymore. Yeah, I that, think it was of its time. Yeah, it, it, I used to have a goatee for in the nineties. Mm. I had a goatee for mm. eight, for well for about a decade. I had a goatee. Um, yeah, of its time. That's because you couldn't grow anything else. <laughs> That in the 90s, Carlos, that wasn't the only thing that was growing on me. Yeah. I remember drinking lager for the very first time. I really, I, it was it was at a christening or something like that. And I went around mine sweeping, you know, when you just go around <laughs> yeah, picking, up, so. pick, picking up drinks and that. <laughs> and being really ill. And uh, I think I was probably about, mm, probably about nine, something like that. And just drinking. And, and my parents weren't drinkers at all. So there was no drink in the house. There was never, ever drink in our house. So when you went to somewhere like a, you know, a, a family event and there were other drinkers there, it was really a, a really obscure thing to see people getting drunk and having alcohol. I didn't really know what it was, so I just thought, oh, people seem to be enjoying this. Yeah, it's not very nice. Yeah. Put me off, I did. So I used to go to a club with my mate every Friday and we'd hardly have any money. And there was a cigarette machine just outside the toilet. So people were walking to get the loo, they'd put their pint on top of the cigarette machine. So when we ran out of money, we just used to hang around. And so when someone left their pint, it was pretty much a full pint, you'd just walk off with it. <laughs> yeah. that, was the, uh, that, was, that was the way we carried the drinking. I, wouldn't, I don't condone that sort of behaviour no. now, and I wouldn't dream of doing no, anything like no, that now. Definitely but. not now, drinking from other people's drinks no. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I was in this public toilet, and the man just put his yeah. can of, of Red Bull on the side, and I thought, I'll have yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> He's put a bottle of yellow liquid on the side. I thought, oh, nice, si- that. Si- have a little sip si- yeah. of it, and a cigarette butt comes into it. <laughs> Ready, here we are then. We've got Temple Smoke here. Temple Smoke. smoke. Is, it, is it smoky? It's, uh, this is from the Himalayan temples of uh, Istanbul. <laughs> 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 In, um, Austin, Texas. Yeah, in, in Austin, Texas. Yeah, in Austin. Yeah, the Himalayan temples of Istanbul, in Austin, Texas. Mm. This is this is where this is from. Mm-hmm. And they cultivate the smoke from the fires of Sudan, um, but they take the Sudan fire and they move it to Indonesia, and then they bring it. Well, I've never been to Texas, so I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know that Indonesia was in Texas, but if you say so. So I'm going to I'm going to spray some onto my hand because I don't I don't want to spray it into someone's face. I'm going to rub it onto my beard, onto my onto my beard, onto mm. David's beard. For what purpose? For what purpose? Just to just to just to hold it as like a nice little hold, because he's already shampooed it today and he's already put product in it, and I put a little bit of. Um, oil in it before we started so I'm going to leave that and let that dry naturally whilst I cut David's hair and it will just give it a nice little bit of hold mm. look at that shape that, that looks lovely Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.